It's Kim from K Diamond Paints, and we have an unboxing from Clearly Amazon. We are going to try another unboxing whip post review in one video. It worked the first time. So, fingers crossed. So, we've got this big box here, and I would open it for you, but... It has already been open <laughs> because I ordered a lot of stuff. So ready? This is all that's left in here. Yes, this is all that's left. I ordered a ton of stuff though. So don't blame Amazon. Usually they do send a ton of stuff in really, you know, small stuff in really big boxes. But this time it was appropriate. I ordered a bunch of stuff. I don't know. Can I say a bunch of stuff one more time? Maybe one more time. Sorry about that. Anyway, April is Earth Month because April 22nd is Earth Day. I don't know if this is going to come out on Earth Day, but um, we'll see. We'll see how my luck holds out. And as you can see, again, I have only tried it at a 30 by 30. I am still not brave enough to go bigger than this for this whole thing. Um, because it takes a, a lot of planning and a lot of editing. But look at these gorgeous colors here, huh? You are going to love this. And this comes with this little toolkit that's really all you need for a 30 by 30, please. Right? That's all we need. Let's see the image. Are you ready? It is the sweetest thing. I was looking for something for Earth Day and this is what I came up with. Which way are we going? Right there. Can you see that? Isn't it gorgeous? So I searched this image online because I was thinking it must be an artist, but again, I didn't find anything. And I always use, I hope you know this with all the images that I um, purchase, I always look up, um, do an image search on it to make sure I don't have anything that's uh, shady. And I might, I'm not saying that I'm perfect in doing that, but um, at least I check. And so I couldn't find this anywhere. But again, I think sometimes when you're searching some of these images like deer or a sunflower, there is so much out there. It's hard to, it's hard to find something unless you already have an idea of the artist and you can put in a name. But um, anyway, this is gorgeous. I thought this was perfect for Earth Month. As you can see, we have no guide circles and a clear canvas. I love these colors. Look at the key. It is, or here, we'll go with the thumbnail first. I'll put the thumbnail over here. I'll put the real image over there with the size and the price, everything for you. And then let's take a look at the key here. So we have letters and how many colors on here? I think I knew this 22. That's not bad for a 30 by 30. Was the last one 22 color? Do I keep putting this down here? What in the world? The other one I did for St. Patrick's Day, wasn't that, was that 22 colors? Was that more? For a 30 by 30, that's pretty incredible. Let's check out the, and that one wasn't a 30 by 30. Do you guys care? You know what? You guys should tell me if you care about the sizes of these things because I, I don't particularly. They aren't usually um, the right size. There are some times that they are, and they say they are, but um, I don't ever hold them to that. No, um, 30 is over here, and again, 30 is over here. How close? So, not close. It is so adorable. I just love it. So let's, while I'm, let's look at the drills now, because we've looked at this, we've looked at this, we've checked it out. You know what, too? Oh, let me see if I can get it. This canvas has, can we get it in the light the right way? There, you can see a little bit. It has sparkle in it. It's a little, there you go. See that? A little bit of sparkly in the canvas. That's kind of nice. I don't really see the point of that when it's uh, squares because it fills it up all the way. But with a round, you do see a little space in between. So, whatever. As I'm opening the drills here, uh, let's just do a little bit of info about Earth Day. 
I mean, when I say a little, I mean a little. We are going to do a little. The first Earth Day was April 22nd, 1970. And here's a cool thing. 20 million people took to the streets to protest, making it the largest single-day protest in human history to date. However, I got that statistics off that statistic off of Wikipedia, so take it with a grain of salt. But I figure if you can get through high school with Wikipedia, we can get through a YouTube video with Wikipedia. Right? Those are our standards. Here, let me try and oops. Move this. And here we go. To take a look at some of these colors. We've got terrible lighting today, huh? It doesn't know what know if it wants to rain or what outside. Oh, look at all these. Isn't this beautiful though? Look at these for an Earth Day. Oh. I mean, with the sunny sun color here. And the oh, this is the one. It's like butter. Isn't that? It's absolutely butter. Parquet. And here we go. Beautiful. These are just some lovely, smiley, make you happy colors. I love that. There was a diamond painting I saw. Oh, what was it? Um, The first drills and chills, the second drills and chills, but I'm pretty sure it was drills and chills. And it was the steam engine. Oh. I love that, and I wanted to get it, but then, honestly, I looked at it. It's all grayscale. As much as I love the image, I don't know if I want all grayscale. And look at this. Minty blue and blue. Oh, so how many colors did we need here? Actually, let me pay attention really quick. 1, 2, 3, 4, 6, 7, 8, 10, 11, 12, 13, 18, 20, 22. So we do have 20... 22. We've got our diamond painting that looks really great. We have our toolkit. Last time I had the idea I was going to use the toolkit to go with it and finish it like that because I wanted to show beginners you can use the green boat to finish a diamond painting. I don't mind using these pink pens. I don't mind using this wax, but really I cannot hot stand using the tiny green boats. I love my big white boats and that is the one tool that I can't seem to go backwards on. So we'll probably use pink pen, little wax, and a big white boat still. <laughs> so any more Earth Day information? One more. So the first Earth Day was in 1970. In 1990, Dennis Hayes, who was one of the original coordinators of Earth Day, made the event um, international with 141 other nations joining in the Good Earth Day Fun. Okay? All right, next time you'll see me, we'll be doing a whip on this bad boy, okay? dazzle you with some checkerboarding they're not the best drills ever they seem to me to be a little bit maybe different sizes but they're sparkly they're cute it's gonna turn out great I think <laughs> fingers crossed it's gonna turn out great anyway we'll keep going with this I just wanted to give you a little earth fun day fact while we're here and we're whatever we're on C. C is uh, 3756. It's a little bit minty. Minty fresh. Okay. Hottest temp ever recorded on Earth was taken in Death Valley, California in 1913 at 134 degrees. That sounds pretty toasty. That's 56.7 Celsius, in case you were wondering. However, in um, December, December, is that not weird? December of 2020, it went up to 130 Fahrenheit. So, and that's 54 Celsius. That place is so toasty. All I have to do is think about that place. I'm in December and I'm freezing. And over there, they're like frying eggs on rocks. 
Good times. These are much prettier and I'm liking the drills more. I think I was disparaging of the drills before. No, they're pretty. I mean, once you get into the pretty colors, right, then it's everything's pretty, everything's all better. So we're going along fine so far. I have high hopes for finishing this on time to post it. Another fun earth fact, right? So the largest living organism do you know it's a fungus that's awesome it's a fungus it stretches 2.4 miles and it's in the blue mountains of oregon so yay you guys want to go see the largest living organism oregon 2.5 four miles worth of fungus. That sounds like an excellent place to go. I have allergies, I'm staying away. <laughs> okay, I know it looks like I'm still working on the same color, but I swear this is a different orange. <laughs> Here, I can show you. I'm not sure about the lighting here, but can you see that? See those two? Those are totally different, right? Those are different like night and later that night different. <laughs> anyway, it's a sunflower, so we've got what we've got. And I was hoping to have this out by um, Earth Day, April 22nd, but I don't think so. I don't think it's going to be that way. But April is Earth Month, so we'll get it in in the month of April at least. So we'll keep going with our funky Earth Day trivia. And I found a good one. It says Earth Day 2011, 28 million, you guys, 28 million trees were planted in Afghanistan for the Plant Trees Not Bombs project. Holy cow, 28 million. Let's keep going with our orange. Look at that. I think I need more wax, right? More wax. Let's keep going. finally working on a different color we've got a green here isn't this a vibrant green it is just this side of neon it is so bright I, I'm enjoying it so off topic from what we have been discussing I just wanted to mention April is the anniversary of when I started diamond painting you guys yeah April of 2019 so it has been two years now and honestly, I haven't gotten any better at it. <laughs> I'm still a super sloppy drill placer. What are you gonna do, right? Okay, 
am on to Z. It looks black. I know what you're seeing is black, but actually it's a really dark green. Um, what is the DMC for this bad boy? $8.95. So, oh, getting stuck. But we're getting closer. However, being that today is Earth Day, um, we're not going to finish this on Earth Day. So there we go. That's our indicator. So we didn't make our first goal, but I think I said on the last clip that I, I was pretty sure I wasn't going to make actual Earth Day. But um, what happened on Earth Day? The, oh, I was listening to the radio today while I was out running errands, and one of the radio DJs was talking about all the things you could do today to be nice to the Earth. And then she said, one of the ones she said was, don't mow the lawn. I'm like, wow, that is really bottom of the barrel least you could do today for the earth don't mow your lawn we've really sunk far from the last one planting 28 million trees to just don't mow your lawn <laughs> we're really shooting for the stars here okay we'll keep going because now i have no clue when this is going to get finished you can see i'm pretty close but um since my motivation for having it done on Earth Day is done now, we'll see. Maybe it'll be the last day of the month now. Who knows? Oh, stuck, stuck, stuck. Move it. Okay. Can you guys see this color that I'm working on? The... DMC is $8.98. It's like a really nice chocolate brown. But do you see the color in the background here? It's green. It's like olive green. So that really threw me off. I mean, it doesn't always have to match up. And if you look at the image, I'll put the image up again for you right here. I can see why it's the dark brown because it's the where the stem, I think, is attaching to the sunflower or the shadow or whatever. But that really threw me. I'm, I was looking through the colors and I'm like, oh no, I don't have any green left. Maybe I messed up and I didn't pay attention when I did the unboxing. But no, it's all right. The DMC is matching up. It's just the color behind it is olive green and the color is chocolate. That happens, I guess. But I just thought I'd point it out because it threw me. All right, let's keep going. <laughs> I like about this canvas you know um the background colors how sometimes it can be in a grid it's like squares even though you're putting rounds on them or you have the light guide circles or you know whatever this one is actually no guide circles but the colors around it are round you see what I mean here let me zoom you in on this I just realized I needed to say it before I covered it all up. See the U? See how they're round around it? I don't know why. I just love that. It's They're like bubbles or something. And the way the drills fit in it, I just think is appealing. So I just thought I'd point that out about this canvas. It's like bubbles. Like bubble. You remember Bubblicious? Remember Bubblicious Bubblegum? Bubblicious. And Hubba Bubba Bubblegum? Uh, hubba Bubba. It's soft, juicy, and delicious. Big bubbles, no troubles. <laughs> um, I think I talked about this before. And the one that had the stuff inside, that liquid inside, that was kind of creepy. I didn't really appreciate that one too much. But the rest of them are good. Okay, we're way off the rails here now. Okay, here we are at the end of the road. We're gonna finish. And now we are on to the post review, you guys. Before we go on to the post review, you see this guy right here? He's gotta go. He's gonna get replaced by his neighbors. Okay, and then we'll do the post review. Okay. 
Okay, I made it to the post review. Isn't that unbelievable? It's unbelievable. It's a miracle. I am very excited. I didn't make it in the exact time frame I wanted to, but you know what? It's close enough. It's close enough. You can see all the colors here and I'll have the drills going across the screen and you've seen them as I've done the whip. I started out very disparaging of these drills. I started out with these two and um, this one I thought was different sizes and then this one to me looked, when I was doing it, it looked like there was different shades in there. Can you see that? I, You know what I think now? I think I started at night and so the light pad and everything else was just distorting it and they're fine. They're absolutely fine. And not only that, I think they're um, I, they're slightly better than average is what I would say. They are great little drills and they fit on there perfectly. I can't wait for you to see the canvas because that whole bubble, um, the circle on the canvas I was talking about with the colors, I you cannot believe how well these drills went down. I was just a little bit worried about this diamond painting when I started it. When I started the background, I thought, oh, this isn't going to turn out, but... Surprise! 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 It turned out, I can't wait for you to see it, it turned out really well. So now that you've been looking at the drills, you know I like them, I turned out liking them, I was wrong, whatever. Like, that's the first time. And let's look at the diamond painting! Okay, before I flip them over and you're distracted by, really, how wonderful it turned out, a couple of things. So this is a 30 by 30. And it actually is, when you measure it from side to side, not the drill area, but the canvas area actually is 30 by 30. The drill area is 25, 24 by 24. But I believe the listing did say that it was going to be whole canvas 30 by 30. So super shocker that it came out right. Um, it was $9.99 when I bought it. It is on sale right now. So hopefully when I put this video up, it will still be on sale because I saw the listing now for $7.19. So hopefully in a couple of days when I put this up, you can still get it at that because I think it is just a little gem. Are you ready? Let's turn it over the right way. And ta -da! Isn't that a sweet little picture? I am so happy I chose this for Earth Day, Earth Month, because I really do feel like it does embody that, you know, with the glowingness and the healthiness and just everything about it. I I cannot believe this is a 30 by 30. This is 22 colors. I'm going to bring you a little closer so you can see. Look at the sparkle. I mean, shut the front door, right? And look at how the drills lay down so perfectly on this canvas. And I really think it's because those little, but I mean, it's just measured out so perfectly. And look at, I mean, the center. I was really worried about down here when I stopped because that, what was it, Y was turning out brown. But you can see that's just the darks. I mean, that's where like the stem is and the shadow is coming in. So it works out perfectly. Look at this. I couldn't recommend this more to someone. I want to get a little, like a little white frame, um, a wide, um, wide white frame to go to put this in. Isn't that going to be sweet? So, right. at se If you can get this for $7.19, I say go pick it up. It's Amazon. It's Prime. It's going to get to you in a hot second. The um, key was great. Everything about it turned out to be great. And I thought, I mean, over here, so when I started doing these, I didn't think the shading, oh, you can't see where I'm pointing. When I started doing the leaves, I didn't think the shading would turn out as well as it did. And it's just, I mean, and then the tips, I was thinking, this is, gosh, I should just back it up a little bit. <laughs> the tips, I was thinking, this is some crazy coloring. This is going to look awful. And in fact, no, it looks fantastic. And it's supposed to be a little bit, let me put the, I'll put this down here over to this side and I'll put the image back up for you because it's supposed to be a little artsy, right? That's why this sprays like this. It's not a photograph. So I, I love it. I just love it. It's got to be one of my favorites. It's so sunny and gorgeous and sparkly. So 
another win from Amazon. And I am so excited that I could do this. Another unboxing whip post review. And as we sail off into the sunset, let me give you one more Earth Day um, piece of trivia. Fantastic. The ocean, the ocean, you guys, holds more than $771 trillion worth of gold. Can you believe it? Or 20 million tons. And it's actually not just um, treasure, but it's tiny particles in the water. 13 billionth of a gram per liter is gold in the water. That's what, but hey, I'm just looking at this up on the internet. You take it with a grain of salt. Oh, sand, grain of sand, sand from the beach. <laughs> you guys, whatever, I'm losing it now. So I'm off to start my next unboxing whip and post review. Wish me luck for next month. And thank you so much for watching. You guys have a good one. Bye-bye.